Hey guys, we got week six here. Um, so, a couple things in my mind I want to talk about in particular for uh, today. Um, so, one of the biggest things that I personally um, don't, just doesn't sit well with me, is uh, a lot of information that's otherwise true or valid in the uh, like sports science and nutrition realms uh, is overemphasized um, and then directed at the casual fitness consumer. So what I'm talking about is where you know you have the people in the top five percent who of uh, you know training and performance and all this kind of stuff that are looking to get like the the sharpest tiniest edge on things um, and maybe some of these behaviors that will uh, or practices that will you know give them that edge are going to come from uh, you know something that the ordinary person just isn't going to uh, want to do or really noticeably benefit from. So it all kind of gets uh, homogenized together where you have a ton of things that are true, otherwise valid, that just aren't for the regular person who isn't trying to get, you know, the, uh, the million dollar contract with the NHL or NFL or whatever. Um, so uh, with that said, Let's always bring it back to context, and there's a couple uh, specific questions that I just heard recently um, where there was a lot of confusion behind them, and I really don't think there's any need for there to uh, be confusion, so let's talk about it. Um, one of the first questions I got was uh, white rice versus brown rice, which is healthier. Um, I always find this rather funny myself because it just, it just won't die. So... Uh, couple things to think about. Number one, um, the arguments are that uh, brown rice has more fiber, it has more nutrients in it because uh, you're leaving more of the grain intact, um, and it scores lower on the glycemic index. Um, so a couple of reasons. Let's talk about those for a second. So number one, it has more fiber. It's got two grams of fiber per whopping 100 gram cooked serving. Um, so Right off the bat, that's going to probably help to lower its glycemic index um, marginally. It's not very much fiber at all. Um, and uh, therefore, it gets recommended to help control your blood sugar, right? So choose brown rice over white rice because it helps you control your blood sugar. Not only that, but for a 100-gram cooked serving of uh, brown rice, you're going to get uh, 20 to 25 grams of carb of you know, usable carbohydrates, and then with white rice, 25 to 30. So for the same amount, volume of food, uh, you're going to be getting more actual carbohydrate with the brown rice. So that's another reason why it's often uh, chosen for being the healthier option. Keep your blood sugar more stable. Except here's the problem. Um, you know, if, if that's a real concern for you, you probably shouldn't be eating rice in the first place. You should be getting your carbs from uh, tons and tons of vegetables and some fruits as well. So that's kind of the first mistake right off the bat. But that also goes into the fiber thing as well. Are you getting your, are you looking to rice to get your fiber? This terrible low level fiber food and you're like, oh, I need to get my fiber from rice. No, no, no. You want to get your fiber from things that give you fiber like broccoli and cauliflower and spinach and tomatoes and mushrooms and all things that just are, you know, totally loaded with fiber. So keep that in mind. Um, so at the end of the day, um, you know, which is healthier, white rice or brown rice? I tell you what, how about a new question? Which do you like better? Um, how about are you getting an appropriate amount of carbohydrates for your, you know, your particular goals at that time? Um, so always be asking the right questions. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, just blood sugar control in general. I had a, or health, health and blood sugar control where, uh, most mainstream diets are, uh, touting this, uh, you know, flatline kind of approach. Um, but, oh no, I'm coming up on time. Um, well, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and, uh, I'll get back to that one another time. All right, folks. See you later.